Let's edit our publication. Let's say that we want to add a back page to this thank you note. To do that, we can go to the insert ribbon. And in the pages group, we see page. If you click on that, we can choose to insert a duplicate page, which means it will create another page just like the thank you notes you see here on the screen, or a blank page, and let us start from scratch. Let's do a blank page. So here we see a blank page. There's no text, but it's still sticking to the theme of the template that we have chosen earlier. So we can design a front and back pages. The first thing we need to do is learn how to insert and edit text. Down here at the bottom on our front page, we have thank you text. If you move your cursor along it, you'll notice that this is actually a text box. You can see the faint line of the text box border as long as your cursor is over it. To edit this, click inside the text box. You'll see a blinking cursor, and then from here you can type as you would normally. If you notice that you have more text than what your text box can show, you can adjust your text box size by clicking and dragging along the borders. If you move your cursor to these circles or squares, you'll notice a double-sided white arrow. When you see your cursor change to the double-sided white arrow, click and drag to resize the text box. Continue editing your text as necessary. You can also move your cursor to the top circle and you'll see that your cursor becomes a dark circle with an arrow. When you see this symbol, click and drag to flip your text. So if you want to have it at an angle, you can do so. To move your text, move your cursor over the text box. When you see a four-sided arrow, you can click and drag to move your text box wherever you would prefer. If you want to move your text box a little bit at a time and not rely on your cursor, as long as your text box is selected, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to, mo to move it just a little bit at a time. If you like to add a text box, you're going to go to the insert ribbon, click on draw text box, move your cursor down, you'll notice it becomes a crosshair. When you see this, click and drag to draw a text box. Again, I'm going to go to the insert ribbon, draw a text box, move my cursor down, click and drag it to draw the text box. Now that I've added additional text, I can quickly adjust the text so that it relates to this one by using the copy format command. So if I like the way this text looks and I like the color and the style and the font, I can click and drag across it to highlight it. And in my pop-up toolbox, I have the format painter, which is the little paintbrush. Click that to apply the same settings. If you want to apply different settings to this text, you can use the font group on the text box tools format ribbon that appears whenever you click on a text box, or you can return to the home ribbon and use the font group here. You can change the font to anything you like. 
You can change the size by clicking on the font size drop down next to it. You can make it bold, italic, or underline by choosing the appropriate commands. And you can change the font color by clicking on the letter A with the splash of color underneath. When you click on the drop down arrow next to it, this gives you a variety of colors to choose from. By default, if you're working with a template, Publisher will provide you with the colors that match the template. So that's how you edit text, move text boxes, and insert new text boxes into your publication.